Hi there! I'm back with another little video thing. We're talking about uh, one of the oft forgotten about things that uh, Premiere can do, and that is a write on effect, which I have rendered right here. So it just looks like this it writes on over your effect. It's not the, the one I have is not done. Keep that in mind. We're just kind of getting started here. Um, I just have this part done because this effect can be tricky. Suffice it to say, there's probably a good reason people don't use this one very often. One, it's very monotonous and time consuming. And two, it can be very difficult for your computer to render this one. Unless you have a really good computer, then you're fine. But it can be a bit of a challenge. The bigger the brush size is, the harder it will take to render. I had the brush size at 40 before, and it took 20 minutes to render this. It took maybe 15 seconds at 30. It's a mystery to me, but <laughs> Premiere's weird like that. It has its tiny little limitations. Uh, so basically, I have this one done so we can just take a look. Because I'm, what's going to be coming up next is I'm just going to be kind of doing a speed montage through the rest of the letters. So, let's look at what I did. So basically, every four frames, I would put a keyframe that would move it to different parts. And this one I put just to put it straight back in the middle so that you could do this. And it goes there, down there. And so next, what's going to be happening is we're going to move straight into the E. It's kind of like cursive. All the letters will connect. So I'll be back in a minute when I'm done with that. <laughs> finished oh boy yeah i can i can uh see why people might not be inclined to work with this one at least i think we're done uh i guess we'll just take a look and see how it goes i've never used this effect before so what's about to happen I have never seen before, so this is going to be fun. We just got to wait for it to render a bit. Almost there. Okay. So it does go away. It doesn't stick around. But I don't think that's the point. Because there's another step to this. That step is we got to go into here find track mat key we put it on here and where'd it go oh there it is and we do video three a 
that should be about it. So let's uh, let's take a look. After it renders, we gotta render it again because they always gotta render it. Re and re and re and re and re-render all the time. This is uh, this is why effects like this can be a hassle. Change one tiny little detail and you have to re-render the whole thing. So I wouldn't recommend this for a lot of projects, but hey, if it's something you want, go for it. Well, not terrible, I suppose. I mean, it could be better, but that's not, that's not the worst. It's a fun little thing to mess around with. This is my first time using it, so... Uh, this was a new experience for me. That was fascinating. Uh, it also took me nearly 20 minutes to do. So, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, have fun with it. And if it's really something you want to use for a video, if it's like, this is perfect for what my video, go for it. Use it. Just be careful and be aware that it can be a pain in the butt. There might be better ways to do this by now. This is considered an obsolete effect. So, just experiment. Have fun. That's all. Bye-bye.